Hello everyone, what's going on? I'm Gaff the Mass974 back again today. Welcome to another Source Shorts video. And today I'm going to show you how you can change the size and font of the developer console text. So hopefully you find this helpful. So trying to keep things short and sweet today. But what you want to do is go to your Source 2013 single player or multiplayer install directory. And you actually want to go to the platform folder, go under resource, and then you want to find the source scheme.res file, or it's actually source scheme base. We'll get to source scheme just in a little second here, but copy source scheme base.res. And then in your mod folder, you want to go to the resource folder and paste this file in. And we're also going to want to rename it to simply source scheme.res. And then what you want to do is open this up. I don't think that actually opens it up, nor that. Uh, but yeah, it should open up in something like Visual Studio. And you want to find the parameter console text. So I'll just search for console here. And you can change the color if you want to. Um, and you'll see some other parameters using the Caesar console here. But the key thing is that you want to change this tool parameter. So for example, if I was to set it to 20, then that would actually double the size of the font. Now I do need to load into a game solution and boot into the game to show you this change. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, everyone, so I'm in a game here. And if I just open up the developer console, as you can see, the text is much bigger and much more clear and would look more like how you open up the developer console in Source 2013 multiplayer mods. And hopefully it should make the text a bit more clear. But this isn't the only thing that we can end up doing. We can, as I said earlier, modify the text as I accidentally open up a Google Chrome window by complete accident, trying to go to the mod folder, go to the resource folder and go back to that text parameter or that console text parameter. What? I don't want to rename it. Stop asking me to rename the files there. Enter. Uh, again, so I'm just going to search for console text. And instead of Lucida console on Windows, we can change it to something completely different. So I'm going to change it to the Malkavian font, which is something that I've got installed on my system. And we can be funny and change the font size to 69. And we don't even need to build solution or anything. We just need to click on the debugger and then the game will boot up. Now it's going to look weird for a second because of the way OBS works. But as you can see on the right hand side here in the developer console, it's changed the font to something completely different and pretty funky if I do say so myself. And you can pretty much change this to any custom font that you want. Now I've tried a couple of different ones, including stuff like Wingdings, but that doesn't work. But if you want a nice, funny font, of course, the legendary Comic Sans works. I think it's Comic Sans MS. But uh, let's see if that actually ends up doing anything. And if it does, then you've got a nice meme font to use. Otherwise, it ends up using some, I don't know if it uses a stock default font, but yes. Comic Sans, the legendary font, can actually be used in your source mod. Well, I thought this was very interesting, and there's actually one last thing I want to get to, which is when I said earlier about that source scheme, you know, yeah, the normal source scheme.res file, because we can copy paste that over. I do need to delete that, which should hopefully mean it's closed out of here, just to be on the safe side but you want to go and copy that over and we don't need to do anything with the renaming or anything but there's going to be one issue if you use this so this is where i'm actually going to open up the default source scheme base.res and you want to scroll down a little bit until you get to this or well, this section over here which i believe is after this wizard sub panel.bg color so you just want to select all of this and then copy and then you want to go into your mod version of source scheme.res and find that same wizard line, which is right here, and then just paste in these additional lines because it doesn't define the main menu text, color, or all that stuff. So you'll end up with some missing options. But if you are to, for example, boot into the game one more time, 
then what you should see now is that the developer console looks more like the Half-Life 1 developer console. So if you wanted to change up the way the actual developer console looks so to a more retro feel, then you can actually just follow what I've just done here. And the same thing applies with changing the console text value and font. So again, we can probably just do that here. Just search for console text. You see it uses the Caesar console, but you can change that to whatever you want. And you change that tool parameter to whatever you want. And that changes the font and the font size of the de developer console text. So yeah, I thought I'd do this quick little video to show you how to do that because I discovered how to do it recently and hopefully it helps you out. So as always, let me know what you think about this crappy video as per usual and I'll see you next time for something hopefully better. Take care of there guys.